the Duwamish tribe is the indigenous people of Seattle, and we're still here. I always tell people, Duwamish means the people of the inside, which basically means that we lived along all waterways, Alki, Duwamish River, uh, Lake Union, Lake Washington, all the waterways, and we traveled by canoe. Our leader signed a treaty of 1855, giving up 54,000 acres, which is basically Lake Seattle. It was signed by our leader, Chief South, or Seattle, and then in their, their wisdom, they decided to name our city after them. So it's Seattle, and I think that people should realize that the city was named after a chief, and he is uh, only honored two places here in the city of Seattle, which is, to me, kind of not honoring the man that they took his name. So they approached our people, our leaders, to sign the treaty to give up their land and with the promises of, uh, of a reservation and hunting and fishing and medical and health and all that, which our tribe did not get. Nineteen seventy-three, seventy-four. Um, everybody was fishing. My brother was fishing in the Duwamish River, and he was always being cited and uh, for fishing. And he said, you, the, "The state fishery said he couldn't fish in that river." And he said, I, "Well, I'm Duwamish," and uh, so he would come to my house, which I lived uh, up here by the airport, and rant and rave and be very sad about that he got another citation. And so this one particular time, he said to me, um, you need to get involved. And I said, so I said, well, um, okay. So I start, and he was, then he started advocating for the right to fish in the Duwamish River. So I got involved, but I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing other than following him. And then I met the chairman of the tribe, who his name was Willard Bill. Well, Willard Bill, stayed on a little while and then we had a little meeting and he said I'm going to leave and I was just wondering if you take the chairmanship in an interim basis and we'll we'll call a meeting and and what happened I was elected chair but I I I said well that's that's amazing I don't know anything about being a chair so I said well if I listen to a lot of people and my brother ordered me to joined Small Tribes of Western Washington, was to the organization of all the Puget Sound tribes. Governor Stevens approached the tribes. Okay. Their idea was to get land away from the natives so that settlers could come from the east to settle here. Yes. So that was the point of these treaties. Yes. Why does any Native American in the United States have to prove who they are? They're indigenous. They're first. And then in 2001, I got a phone call on the last day of the administration of Clinton saying to be recognized. Okay, what happened on Monday, they put a hold on it, and then that following year, they took our acknowledgement away. Yeah, we, we, we protest, but then I got a phone call from one of the... Uh, uh, Somebody from the Bureau is saying, you're extinct. What, what is that? I think that they thought when we got re acknowledged in 2001 that we were going to be able to enjoy the acknowledgement, which is, means that we would get money to help us get a reservation and get health and, and, a, um, and, and education. I think it was the early 70s, or it was maybe early, late 70s, and so I ran around trying to, trying to rent, rent an office. We never had an office. Our leaders always met in their homes through the years, from treaty times up to when I decided that we needed an office. Certainly was not <laughs> requested. And, um, but I, you know, after growing up and learning who I am, mm -hmm or who I was and where I came from, I'm very proud of who I am, I, you know. I mean, I'm proud that I had the parents I had who instilled a lot of um, right and wrong. My mother said right's right and wrong's wrong, you know, so, um, which I try to convey to my, my own, my daughters.
the taking away of the acknowledgement of this tribe and be able to, um, the tenacity to hang in there because what happened was is that we, we, we sued or we, we filed and a judge said, you need to explain to this tribe why you gave them acknowledgement and why you took it away. So what's happening now since 2001, here it is 2018, and we're waiting for them to hear back from DC. Why, why did you give the acknowledgement to this tribe and then take it away? They, they, and also on my father's side, he's part Chinook, Collets, from the coast. And he was a member of the Collets tribe, but then they're recognized. And they did the same thing to, to Chinook Nation, gave them acknowledgement the same year and took it away. And so they're, they are uh, waiting for their decision to be restored to them. Um, and the reason I hang in there is because the tenacity uh, of, I've got to find out if they're going to say yes or no about giving the, the, the acknowledgement back, restoring that status. And when that happens, then I, and everybody wants me to quit anyway, then I'll call a meeting and they can hire another chair. I can finish my book and get rich. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me, look at what, the, what has happened to this tribe. That's mm. what they should look at. Yes. Not me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I, I say to anybody, why, why does anybody have to prove who they are? You know, why, why do tribes have to go through this experience being somehow forced or because I'm certainly Governor Stevens did not speak any Lushootsi and I'm certainly our chiefs, our sub chiefs didn't speak any any language but they had interpreters I think and to persuade them to give up their land and to be treated after 163 years this way. Well, we always advise them. There's a, there's a, we have a book in the, in the lobby where we, you um, say you support us, but also we always need money to, to uh, maintain our longhouse and to pay our people. Um, and we, there's a new, there was, uh, this is wonderful. There was a group of volunteers who had been working with us for about nine, ten years, and they started real rent, and people can, and people can pay real rent. So now we're, we're getting pretty good. They're paying rent to us because they're on land, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So it's rent that someone pays in recognition mm -hmm. that this uh, is Duwamish land. Tribe. Yeah. So if you have a home or if you spend time in Seattle, you can actually acknowledge the people with pay a small in, uh, or significant donation uh, and pay rent to the Duwamish people. And they are. And they are. In yeah, fact, so. I just opened a, a letter last week and there was a check for $11,000. That's fantastic. I mean, this, I mean, and there was a list. They got a list uh -huh. of all the people, $10. It, it, I think it's marvelous that they would, they would have that compassion to pay the rent to help us. Yes. You know, that, that's acknowledgement there. Mm 